I'm a huge sucker when it comes to the electronics and gadgets area. At designer discount clothing stores like Burlington and Marshalls, and most especially Ross Dress for Less, it just pulls me in. And they strategically place that in the men's area on purpose to pull suckers like me in to buy things like this Bluetooth speaker that looks like a Frenchie's head with some cool sunglasses. And it was under $10. Let's check it out. <laughs> Hi there, welcome to my channel. This is the ANX Audio Wireless Mini Bad Dog Speaker. And first off, no, you're not a bad dog. I'm pretty sure they're referring to this pup's cool look and that he looks bad. <laughs> anyway, good Frenchie. So in my intro, I mentioned that I love designer discount clothing stores and Sugarberry Smash shares the same love. So she's actually the one who picked this item up recently. And if you didn't catch the price in the earlier shot, it was only $8.99. And after doing some quick searches online, I've seen this Bluetooth speaker ranged from around $20 to $40 on sites like eBay and third sellers on Amazon. So that's quite a deal from Ross. And first off, I really like the packaging of this item. The box has a cool wood pattern graphic all around it, almost like the puppers in a doghouse. So I really appreciate little things like that. And a few details, it has Bluetooth 4.2, a three watt speaker, playtime can go for around three hours, and it has a 200 milliamp rechargeable battery. For those wondering why I'm opening the speaker from the bottom of the box, this is a potential stocking stuffer or present and from my experience most people don't check if the bottom of the box has been opened unless you're a little weird like myself who analyzes everything and just checks every little nook and cranny <laughs> so here's everything that's inside of the box very simple instructions a little tiny cord and the cool pupper speaker itself right there so let's look at the instructions and oh it's one of those long ones that go left to right everything seems self-explanatory and surprisingly they actually use color and these little instructions that kind of cost a lot of money to print out a bunch of those and here is the tiny cable it came with it's just a micro usb so if you have an older longer one laying around you can just use that to charge this up because this is probably a foot and a half long at the most and i'll just keep it together so if it is given as a present it can look like it was never touched anyway here's the actual speaker itself it is such a cool design i love it and if you look closely at his sunglasses there's actually a layer of fabric over it as well as on the back side so I'm guessing that's where the speaker grill is and the backside is way bigger so I'm guessing that's where most of the sound will come from and we'll definitely give that a try during our sound test to see which side is louder the front or the back and on the bottom I'm not going to remove that plastic layer but that looks like a non-slip rubber pad so if you want to put this on a smoother surface like a glass table or a really slippery desk or something like that then it won't slip around here's the back of the device and it looks like it just has an on and off button as well as the charging port and surprisingly there's a micro sd card reader so that's a feature that kind of surprised me because in the instructions in the back of the box there's actually a few buttons that this one's missing so i want to grab that box in a little bit and do a little comparison but here's the last overlook of the dog's face it's so cute and that top part right there you can actually put some sort of like lanyard or something to hang it on if you want to hang it somewhere and for those interested here's a better look at the back grill cover it's actually pretty nice doesn't look too bad so here's the back of the box it doesn't mention anything about a sd card reader it says that there's actually a play and pause button and a 3.4 millimeter <laughs> supposed to be a 3.5 so there's a typo right there but there's not even an aux port on here so the one that i have in my hand is strictly a bluetooth wireless speaker and this is supposed to be a volume wheel but it feels more like a rocker and i'm going to test this out in just a little bit i'm pretty sure this is where the play and pause button ended up going instead of having a volume wheel and you're probably just going to have to control everything from your phone volume wise but that's a nice little feature to have i'll test it just to confirm and make sure so far everything seems okay the build quality is decent it's a light plastic but the speaker itself has a good weight to it and the overall design is awesome especially if you love dogs specifically frenchies but what concerns me is that there's some false advertising on the box and the instructions this model that i have is missing an aux port and the play and pause button on the back is not there either but strangely there's a built-in micro sd card reader which wasn't mentioned anywhere on the box so that's a bit of a win so there's pros and cons here definitely but the biggest positive here is that this was under ten dollars and most people have bluetooth on their phones and other devices nowadays so having an aux cord or 3.5 millimeter cable isn't too necessary unless you're hoping to use this with a nintendo switch or something like that that doesn't have bluetooth built in 
So very strange experience so far. With that, let's get this synced up with my laptop that has Bluetooth and give it a sound test. So it's a really simple pairing process. All you have to do is find it. It says ANX Mini Bad Dog right there. Just click it or touch it if you're using your phone and everything should sync up immediately. So there's not a pairing code or anything you need from the speaker itself. So everything is fairly simple. And let's see if this button actually does anything before I turn on the song, if it adjusts my volume in any way. So far it doesn't, so let's get this song going. I'm just going to use a YouTube audio library song so I don't get any copyright strikes or anything of that sort. And we'll try everything at 50% volume at first and I'll stop talking soon. But here's one last disclaimer, everything was recorded with the built-in microphone on my iPhone 11, so sound may sound different from what I actually hear in comparison to the video. Also video editing wise the sound wasn't altered and my video editing program sound is at 100% for this clip. And this is actually a play, pause, and skip, and back button, so that confirms my assumption from earlier. Here's a warning, the sound is going to get really loud, I'm going to max everything out, so if you're wearing headphones, please lower them if you don't want to hurt your ears. I reduced the volume here and I had a feeling that it would sound like this at max volume. With most cheaper speakers, especially one like this that has a max output of 3 watts, anything past 75% sounded distorted and there were more clangs with each bass note that hit, which turns into a funnel-like tin sound and that was expected, especially for a smaller speaker. Surprisingly though, it sounded pretty good at the 50% to 75% volume range, so that's what I'll call the optimal sound range for this speaker. So let's test it out on lower ranges to see if there's any problems there. So that's really weird. It doesn't produce any sound between 1% and 5%, so it technically starts at 6%. Another con or negative when it comes to cheaper and smaller speakers, especially from a brand that's not too well known. And you know, that typically happens when you get these cheaper things from these discount designer stores. But overall, it did sound really good when used in the optimal sound range of between 50% and 75%. So, you know, there's some pros and cons with this little guy, and it was only $8.99, so I can't really go complain about that. <laughs> so if this isn't used as a stocking stuffer, I'll most likely use it as a cool desk decoration and turn it on for those who stop by and really want to hear it. Since it's really cheap, if I bring it to the park or beach or anywhere while traveling, if it gets damaged, then it's not too big of a loss. But more than likely, this little Frenchie is going to sit on my desk and keep me company while I work on my computer. But overall, it's a decent speaker that's usable. And if you're a dog lover, it's the perfect little desk accessory for your workspace. But with that, I definitely not pay the $20 plus that some sellers online are asking for. But if you're at your local Ross and happen to stumble upon this cute little Frenchie for the price that we got it for, or maybe even cheaper because it's on clearance, then it's definitely worth considering. But thank you so much for checking out this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, feel free to check out these other videos that might interest you. Also, if you really liked hanging out with me today, please consider subscribing to be the first to know when I upload something new. Other than that, I'll see you all soon. Please stay safe out there. Bye.